Hello, and welcome to a video all about the new Soul Reaper axe released with Desert Treasure 2. It's been released and surrounded in controversy. It was bugged on release, people have been using it to PK, but it's got a whole load of other uses which have been largely overlooked. So today I'm going to show you all the uses for the Soul Reaper axe in RuneScape. First up, what's the damage? How much does the Soul Reaper axe currently cost? It was going above max cash for the first couple. But now, I've got one for 775 million GP. There we go, the Soul Reaper Axe. So what are the stats looking like on this thing? It's got 134 slash bonus and a massive 121 strength bonus. It's pretty similar in stats to a God Sword, although this Soul Reaper Axe is faster and has a special effect. The coolest thing about the Soul Reaper Axe is it has a build-up effect. Let me explain. When I hit this dummy, I hit a 61 on my first hit and I get hit an 8. On my second hit, I hit a 64 and this gets higher and higher up to five hits and I'm constantly taking damage on 67 as you can see we're counting up to five here 70 and then on my fifth hit I can hit a 72 now I can use the special attack to get rid of my stack and hit a devastating 79 and heal up all those hit points I can then start the stacks again so it's completely different to any other mechanic in runescape if I am to run away for over 10 ticks then my stacks will reset I can't preload the stacks look how they decay gradually but if I go back and I'm hitting again, and we can start rebuilding. On Slayer Task, a regular hit can get up to as high as 85. Remember, this is five ticks, and the special attack, 88. Not too bad. So it's the stacks that give the axe its huge power. Obviously, this is going to be good all over RuneScape, but where is it going to be best? Well, currently, the melee meta is dominated by things like Scythe on large monsters and Fang on really high defense monsters. With the axe, you don't have to take those things into consideration, which makes it incredibly strong for a melee weapon. Now, the first and most obvious use for an amazing melee weapon is to train because lots of people don't have 99 stats, and it's like the Venator Bow. This is now the best chill AFK training method for Nightmare Zone, for all those sort of things where the monsters are just one by one normal mobs. Don't forget, this thing is not gonna be worth 700 mil forever. Eventually, it will come down to a more affordable 50 mil to 100 mil for anyone that wants to AFK as fast as possible. And I'm using max gear, but I'm only in here to test this versus the previous best. I think it's super interesting that Jagex is speeding up the training process because at the end of the day, your stats matter a lot more than your gear in RuneScape. And as we see a lot more people coming into the late game PBM scene through Tombs of Massacre has really encouraged that. We want people to train their stats and have the best time. And is it intentional that they've released a significant buff to melee training and range training with the Venator Bow in the chill, casual style within one year. So we are currently looking at an incredibly AFK setup to get 170k XP an hour in melees. I know I'm in max and I'm maxed on all the rest, but let's compare that to the previous best of Darox and the Rapier. With the Rapier, we're getting around the 140k, 150k mark, so it's a definite increase on that. Darox as well is outclassed by the new Soul Reaper Axe. It's also more AFK than Daroking is. It's also worth mentioning that while the Soul Reaper Axe is really good for training, it does require 80 attack and strength, so you do have to do some training some other way before you start using it. Once again, because it's a non-niche, very good melee weapon, it's just gonna be good all over the game whenever you melee something. Like Slayer, for example, Melee Slayer, it's now the best in slot for that. And there are still plenty of tasks that people melee. Don't forget that this axe does not cost charges to use, so it is cheap to maintain. Nearly 50,000 Slayer XP an hour just from using melee. Gone are the days of just whipping for 20k XP an hour Slayer. It's actually crazy these days. We're on 49, nearly 50k Slayer XP per hour, slapping 80s every five ticks with this axe. It's actually crazy to use. So Super fun, oh my god. 85? <laughs> So yeah, nearly 50k an hour. Remember, this is without superiors. I don't think it's worth using the special because you lose your stacks and then my max hit will go down and I'll get it chipped down again. But I guess it could be fun just to see a big hit every now and then. So the axe is obtained through the Desert Treasure 2 bosses. Each boss drops one component of the axe and there are four bosses, so you need to get four components to make an axe along with 2,000 blood runes. The interesting part is that the pieces themselves are untradeable. It's not like a Void Waker where you can buy the different bits and stick one together. One person has to go around all the bosses and get each bit individually. 
individually. To get an axe, you're looking at, on average, 768 Leviathan kills, 512 Whisperer kills, 1,088 Vardorvis kills, and 720 Duke kills. That's some pretty big dedication, so they, we're not going to see too many of these things in the game for a while. But speaking of new bosses, the axe is in fact best at slots at at least one of them, to the surprise of nobody. The axe is absolutely best in slot at the new boss, Vardorvis. Now, obviously, we're going to have to build the stack up, which is going to hit me for eights. Could get a little bit annoying, but once it's built, I'm no longer going to get damaged and I'm going to be outputting incredible damage. Look, we're already up to five stacks. That's 86% hit points. We're chilling. The Blood Fury is too good. It just heals me back to full anyway, so the eights don't really seem like a problem, to be honest. The thing that could potentially get annoying is that after the kill, I'm going to have to AFK and wait for the next thing to pop up. Will my stacks decay that badly? We're already on four. <sighs> Is it going to tick down again? Come on, respawn. Three, and it's respawned. And we're back up to four again. So actually, it's nowhere near as bad as I thought. We only have to get chipped down a little bit. Now, obviously, I can eat, and I should be able to maintain my five stack here. Yeah, there we go. So eating a hard food is completely fine. It's just going to take a bit to get used to. Now, one of the weird things about the stacks is it's on a different special attack counter compared to your regular special attack. So I'm 100% special attack, but no stacks. So can I go from full stacks to special attacking? But then I'll lose my stacks, I believe. I'm just going to test out a little method at the end of this kill here. Like, it's all well and good slapping 60s with the axe. But if you can't spec, that is actually a fair amount of DPS loss. What if you do a giga axe hit, heal up a bit, and then just go into two Void Waker specs? And that's how you finish the kill. That might be the best thing to do, because as we switch back to our axe here, look, we're on zero stacks again, so that's not good. So that means it's kind of hard to tell how good the Soul Reaper axe actually is, even though on paper, it's super good here. And the axe also has potential use cases at Duke. In fact, it's got use cases anywhere that you're slashing or, to be honest, even crushing, because there's also a crush attack style on this weapon. Okay, I mean, it doesn't have the best crush compared to its slash, but if you're limited on budget or you're some sort of Iron Man, I definitely think it could be worth using this, like, Seracnus or Nightmare, if you don't have a sight. It shouldn't be too difficult to maintain the stacks at Duke, but the problem is I'm guaranteed gonna lose it at the end of this kill because of the skilling phase. Big hit to finish the kill, and I get all my hit points back. That's actually pretty nice, although now I've just lost all all of my stacks from running up here or using my void waker or whatever and the soul reaper axe can actually be used for pk you can constantly slap 70 ones every five ticks the problem is you have to build up the stack in pk which could be potentially difficult but because the axe special attack is separate from the gmall you could potentially see an axe into a gmall and that would be a viable strategy. Although when you have to switch back, you have to build up with the eights hitting you again. So it's going to be tough to use in edge style fighting, but potentially could be devastating there. Oh yeah, have you wondered why my Torva is looking so beautiful? You'll be able to find out soon on the main channel solo mission. And you might not even have noticed, but this is the side channel mission solo. So make sure you subscribe to this one. Like I said before, anywhere where a slash melee weapon is good, the axe is also going to be good. And that's going to include places like the Theatre of Blood, where you normally scythe the entire thing. Now, the axe may be second best in slot, but that's still a very significant use that we're going to see out of it because Scythe costs 500 mil and is super expensive and inaccessible to use. If you are doing a conventional Theatre of Blood run, you're going to suffer from switching styles when you do things like freeze Nilos, but if you melee roll, it won't make too much of a difference. I'm in entry mode, but this is just for science. No, my stacks are decaying. It's definitely not the move at blow. You have to be consistently hitting a monster for it to be good. Right, we go from five stacks outside Sotus Egg into the maze and they drain to zero. That's wild. I can't sidewalk with this animation. It's so strange. You just go from downtown. Look at this. It's so weird. Why is my like, movement stalled with this thing? But in theory, it's good here because you don't obviously lose your stacks. Obviously, Versic, you're constantly using melee. So this is where the axe is going to shine if you're going to use it in top. Uh, there's not really any point where you will be losing stacks. Is it going to be interesting to see, actually, with the yellow portal if I even make it to the entry mode problems? Okay, I, I uh, 
Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but anyway, Soul Reaper Axe definitely will be a good scythe alternative in here in any PVM encounter where you're slashing. No purple, never lucky. I pray I don't lose too much money on this. I've just been hemorrhaging money recently. Okay, it's sold. It's definitely gonna be an interesting and good all-round alternative weapon. Just wait for the price to drop first. <laughs>